TI. With regard to external reality, TI tends to perceive the facts as being of secondary importance when compared to the abstract idea that the TI type is attempting to clarify in his mind. In other words, the TI type perceives facts as governed by ideas, whereas the TE type perceives ideas as things that should ideally amend themselves to the facts. One consequence of TI's tendency to abstract from external reality is that the individual will be more preoccupied with discovering ideal ideational structures than in actually making sense of the messy multitude of facts as these were handed down to him through external reality. A consequence of this ideational bias is that objects are viewed as being more similar in nature than they really are, and certainly as more similar than a TE type would perceive them. FE. In Jungian typology, there can be no TI without FE and vice versa. Though TI and FE polarize each other in consciousness, the overall structure of the TI-FE axis still primes the consciousness of the individual to view human beings as just another such ideal object, where the properties of the particular individual can be stripped away without losing the ideal object of the human being, TI. Here the TI-FE axis comes very close to Plato's idea of the ideal form of man. Hence, with the TI-FE axis, the unstated premise inherent in that kind of cognition is that human beings are essentially similar and that their desires and goals must therefore also be similar on some level, FE. TE. Where TI has a tendency to abstract the individual into an idealized object of the human being, standing apart from reality and current affairs, TE tends to cognize the individual as an active participant in the actual reality that surrounds us. Thus, in the TE mode, we must be concerned with the specific properties of reality as these unfold around us, and it simply will not do to sit on the sidelines, mourning that reality could or should be different. On the contrary, TE flings our consciousness directly into an uncooperative world, prompting us to go head to head with its challenges and letting us know that only we are responsible for getting whatever it is we want from the world. FI. In the TE mindset, our world is disobliging and resources finite. My triumph may very easily turn out to be your downfall and vice versa. I don't owe you anything and what you want is not necessarily the same as what I want and again vice versa. Such a mode of consciousness creates the backdrop for some strand of relativism, and it is here that TE meets FI to form the TE-FI axis, an axis that identifies goals on the basis of actual and personal relevance rather than on the basis of abstract and communitarian ideals. So to put it simply, FETI types live in a world of abstract, theoretical commonalities between objects of which one unstated premise is that, deep down, our interests are all aligned. FITE types live in a world of concrete, empirical certainties of objects of which one unstated premise is that we have our own interests at heart.